Let me find a topic different. Kwakili. Good. Hello viewers, welcome back to today's class. The topic of discussion is formation of government and the station you're watching is the Lim TV, your favorite learning channel where you get to watch and learn. Now, in today's class, we're going to look at the formation of government, right? How many governments do we have, right? That is our topic of discussion. And as always, it is your tutor, Roger Michira, ready to take you through our history class. Welcome all and let us learn. Now class, what do we expect by the end of the lesson? We do expect that we are able to outline the composition of the, of the government, right? What is the government comprised of, right? How many governments do we have, right? What is the composition of some of, 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 of those other governments we have, right? Now let us get to look at the composition of government, the composition of government. Now, how is the government formed? right formation of government and we must know that we have got two governments right we have got two governments now let, let us get to look at what as uh, those two governments we have the first government we have is the national government right the national government is the first government we have then the second government we have the county government now those are two government uh, governments right the national government and the county government the national government is headed by the president, right? Then the county government is headed by this, the, 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 the governor. Is the governor is the CEO of the county government. And the president is the CEO of the national government. Now, can you get to look at the national government? Right? What does it comprise of? Good. What are some of the arms of the national government? Now, we have three arms of the national government. One, we have the executive, right? However, we get to look at, we, we get deeper and get to know what the executive is, what does it comprise of. So the first arm of the national government is the executive. Two, we have the legislature, right? And the legislature is the law-making organ, right, of the national government. Good. But again, as, as we're moving, we get to know, we get to look at what is the legislature, what is it comprised of, and, uh, and other functions of the legislature. Then lastly, we have the uh, judiciary. Good. Now, as you can see, uh, our flowchart, we, uh, we, we, have, we have explained uh, what the national government is comprised of. We have said the executive, the legislature, and the judiciary. Good. The executive, headed by the president, with the legislature, which is the lawmaking organ, and also the judiciary, um, which is headed by the CJ, the Chief Justice. Now, those are some of the things we're going to look at as, as, as we are going to, as we're going to progress. Now, get to, get, get to look at the county government. What does it comprise of? The county government comprises of the governor, right? Who is the CEO of the county. Then we have the deputy governor, right? We have the executive committee, also known as the county CECs, right? Then, lastly, we have the county assembly. The county assembly, this... Uh, is, is, is the county uh, legislation organ, right? Is the legislation organ of the arm of the county. This is where the county members assembly, right? Members of the county assembly, we're known as the MCS. This is where, this is their champers, right? This is a, is a legislation arm of the county government. Now, class, we have, uh, we, we have looked at uh, the formation of government. We have said we have got two governments, the county government and also the national government. Then also, we have gotten to look at what does, what does it uh, comprise of the national government. We have said we have got the executive, we have the legislature, and we also have the judiciary, led by the, uh, the, the chief justice. Now, in the county government, we have also looked at the, 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 the composition of the county government. We have said we have the governor, we have the deputy governor, we have the executive committee, and finally, we have the county assembly. The county assembly comprises of the members of the county assembly. Those members who have been elected, right from the ward uh, level, they get to represent the electorates in the county. Now, for our assignment class, can you get to outline the composition of uh, the national government and also state the composition of the county government, the two levels of government. Now, for reference, get to refer to Evolve the World, History and Government. 
Form 3, Oxford University Press, the 7th edition, and as always, this is a limited V, your favorite learning channel, where you always get to watch and learn.